Hello, my name is Latrina, and a couple of days ago, my son reached out, my son Chris reached out to offer you a free video showing some things that you can do for your business to boost your online presence. This is the custom video we've made for your business. Hopefully, it will be helpful to you. There's no selling in the video. Um, we make these on the side when we're not swamped ourselves uh, to try to bring value and service to the communities. Um, we believe givers give, so this is our way of trying to give back. If you can though, please let us know at the end of the video, if you watched it, what you thought, if it was helpful or not, just so that we can continue to improve. Also, if there are any outstanding questions or things that you wanna discuss, let us know that too. We'll be happy to clarify anything. So what I'm gonna cover in your video is content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements to have. I'll go over your company's online presence and make any recommendations for improvement to boost your business. So content is anything that's on your website. It's the words, the imagery, the videos. You want to have at least 1,500 words on your homepage and at least 500 on your back pages. This allows Google bots to crawl your website, figure out what it is you do, grab all the keywords, and that way when people are searching for your services, they'll be able to include you in the search results. Citations are listings and directories that you can get. It's your business name, your address, and your phone number. You want to get as many of these on the internet as possible and definitely more than your competition. And then there are backlinks, and backlinks are the placement of your website onto other websites. So if you think about Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, um, Twitter, any of these, when you have your website listed on those sites, you are directing traffic from those sites back to your website. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes. In fact, backlinks are so critical that Google uses them and places high emphasis on ranking a business and also measuring a business's trustworthiness. A business with very few backlinks would be considered um, less trustworthy and less valid um, by Google. So let's take a look at Google since I'm talking about it. Um, when we do a general contractor search, general contractors for Woodbridge, Virginia, what we are presented with initially are ads. Ads are fine as a supplement to boosting your business, um, but something to note is that sometimes ads are not seen when people have ad blockers on their computers. The prime real estate area in Google is this area called the map pack. This is where Google places who they perceive the top three businesses for that service area. So. Um, these three businesses are ranking high for general contractors Woodbridge, Woodbridge, Virginia. One thing I will note, however, this um, contractor here, they don't have a website, so they are very vulnerable at this state. Um, this is what I consider a low-hanging fruit, meaning if you do the things that you can to boost your website, meaning make sure you have sufficient content, backlinks, and citations, it would be relatively easy for you to knock them out of their spot here. The other thing to note is that Google continues to place um, businesses in order of preference on the first few pages, and it gets um, it descends in that in that order. So ideally, your, your business should be listed somewhere on the first three pages. After that, the visibility sort of dwindles and you're really not getting the same visibility on those later pages. So I always tell um, small businesses to shoot for the first three pages and ideally try to get into the map pack over time. So let's take a look at your site. First of all, it's very vivid. I love the colors. I like the animation. Um, all of your imagery is very clear and easy to see. What I would recommend um, is that you utilize more content on your page. Remember, five, um, 1,500 words on the home page and 500 on the back page. And that sounds like a lot, but it's not really just for your visitors who are coming to your website. It's for Google. This gives, like I said, it gives Google the opportunity to figure out what it is. If you don't have a lot of what it is you do. If you don't have a lot of content, Google will come to your website and hop right back off. They will not give it much attention. However, if you do have lots of content, then it gives Google a reason to come to your website, spend time there, and actually come and visit more often um, to get familiar with your business. The other thing I'm going to mention is you should be tagging your images. Um, if you, if I click on any of the images right now, you'll see there's like a random character here assigned to it. Name your file, name your images with files to highlight what it is you're showcasing. For example, if you're showcasing um, stairs refinishing, a deck build, roofing, you want to have relevant things there that say that. Okay, um, so 
Stairs Refinish, Woodbridge, Virginia. Deck Build, Woodbridge, Virginia. Roofing Repair, Woodbridge, Virginia. In any area that you serve outside of Woodbridge, whether it's Lorton or um, Fairfax or Dale City, whatever it is, you just want to make sure Manassas, any of those areas, you want to make sure that you are highlighting those service areas as well. So definitely build up your content and um, make room for all of the things. See here are all the services that you should be highlighting on your page, but unfortunately you don't have enough content to embed all of these things there. Um, Google does not like spammy content content so if you were to have to like put this all over your website in in a non-strategic way that would be considered spammy and they would flag you so you don't want that you want to do it the most organic way which is by adding enough content remember 1500 words on the home page and 500 on your back pages now when i look at your your data this is based off of google analytics on a scale of 1 to 100 you have a popularity ranking of 0 you and that's because you have no backlinks, you have no referring domains, and you have no keywords that you are ranking for right now. So you definitely want to add some keywords, add that content, so that you can um, make yourself more um, competitive. And if you recall, this business right here is very vulnerable. Um, they're not optimizing Google. They don't have a website. They don't have their business hours here. So they are not optimized with the right approach you can certainly bump them out of their spot here and have your business here in the map pack and that would certainly certainly boost your business so with that i'm going to end this here please let me know if you watched it let me know if it was helpful or not also please let me know if you have questions the intent of these videos is not to confuse or discourage in any way it's actually to inform and to help boost your business so if i can be of a service if I can clarify anything, please let me know and I will be happy to do so. Otherwise, um, I will wish you a lovely week and may you continue to grow and prosper. Take care.